же, они же против, в основном же мирное жительство тут. Mainly, these are the actions of civilians. That's why it's like this. Military more or less are on different sides. A line of contact between the forces passes through the village of Zaitsevo. One part of the locals are on the territory controlled by Ukraine, the other, the self-proclaimed DPR. Everyone is scared. My child, for the second night in a row, wakes up in the middle of the night, screaming. Because of the shelling. Yes, he's seven, although he slept all the time peacefully. Two nights in a row he jumps up and screams at night. Women and children constantly see armed people on the streets. And this is the residential area of Donetsk. Many houses are abandoned or destroyed by war. Glass is long gone. The windows are boarded up tightly. They are shooting from time to time lately. Everyone is waiting. No one knows how the negotiations will go. What negotiations are they waiting on both sides? Zelensky and Biden? Zelensky and Putin? Putin and Biden? Earlier, it was reported that the president of Ukraine requested a phone call with the Russian colleague. The Kremlin did not confirm this information. Zelensky's intentions regarding the country's early entry into NATO are more clear. You understand that if Ukraine joins NATO, it can only aggravate the conflict. I can't respond to this. Maybe you're right, but what's going on right now? What are we doing here? What are our people doing here? They're fighting. This is our conflict, and we decide where to be and where not to be. To be or not to be. Do you remember Shakespeare? The meeting between Putin and Biden may take place in a neutral European country. The Czech Republic offered its services. On April 13th, the presidents of Russia and the United States held a telephone conversation in which they agreed that further steps regarding their meeting would be decided through diplomatic channels. It is too early to talk about this meeting in terms of specifics. This is a new proposal and it will be considered. In Kyiv, they said that according to their data, 42,000 Russian troops are located in Crimea and 41,000 near the eastern border with Ukraine. Sergei Shoigu spoke about the transfer of the US and NATO troops to the Russian borders. Now American troops are being transferred from continental North America across the Atlantic to Europe. There is a movement of troops in Europe to the Russian borders. The main forces are concentrated in the Black Sea and Baltic regions. In total, up to 40,000 military personnel and 15,000 units of military equipment are concentrated near our borders. The US Department of Defense does not hide that they help Ukraine with instructors and cargo. Uh, with regard to the Russian force buildup, uh, we remain concerned about what we're seeing. And so we continue to monitor very closely uh, the activity there, and we continue to consult with our partners. And as you've heard us say earlier this evening, we call upon Russia to cease their provocations and to be more transparent about, uh, about this recent activity. Residents on the contact line listen more to the gunshots and yet do not give up hope. We'll keep on living and we'll see. Well, of course, we want it to end, to live peacefully. There are miserable people here and there are miserable people there. According to the UN, since 2014, more than 3.3 thousand civilians have died in Donbass.